What up y'all? Good morning. Welcome back to the Everyday Hustle. Appreciate you all for being here. Since you're here, hit that red button and subscribe to Everyday Hustle. Started my day off by coming out of AT&T, spending a whole lot of money. I got the new iPhone 15. And it's not for me. Literally since last year, Samia has been telling me about this phone coming out in October of 2023 and her, her wanting it for her birthday. So I thought about it and I was like, you know what, let me get it. So this is one of a, of a few things that we're doing for her birthday. I got her an iPhone 15. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Aya is here. She's too busy. Uh, show them what you picked up. She's been, she's been picking some trees. Question, so is an iPhone for an eight-year-old too, too young? An iPhone 15. I don't even have an iPhone 15. Give me that. Right, and now some, Aya wants it. But yeah, it was hard to get this phone, but I got it. And uh, I'm, I'm super excited to see how she reacts to when she gets it. Cause again, she's been bothering me. Ow! That's what you get. That's what I get? That's not, hey! Y'all let me know if, it's, if, 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 if I'm doing the most, but she's been bugging me, reminding me about when it's coming out. It's been a lot. Aya, stop. We about to go to uh, Juiced Up, so I'm gonna catch y'all at Juiced Up. Let me know if, it's, if, if I made a good decision or I shot myself in the foot. Okay, here you go. Don't break it, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a nice birthday gift. What up, y'all? Here at Juiced Up, Aya joined me. She's having a vegan patty. How it tastes? You don't even know that it's vegan. You enjoying the vegan patty? One thing about Aya, she doesn't mind if you eat, eat from her, you know, her food. Whereas, let's say Zane or Samia, they catch a fit. Wow, it's actually hitting. Yeah, we need more of these. Um, but yeah, starting off the day, just chopping it up with Gigi around the juice operation. I know it's been a while, but sometimes launching things just take a while, man. But one thing for sure is, if I say it, it's gonna happen eventually, God willing, through action, through hard work, through belief, through faith. You feel me? Shout out to all the serial entrepreneurs out there who are always trying to figure it out. Connect the dots. You feel me? But yeah, just here, having a meeting. Aya joined me. I always bring Aya, because she, uh, she brings the magic sauce into the room. So I'm here Hello. with Josh. Just chopping it up, talking about, you know, feelings, emotions. He is, uh, what was the, what's the right, um, energy, um, energy therapist? No. Yeah, energy, therapist. energy therapist. I got it. Okay. Solid. I've never heard that term, but I like it. What's, what, 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 what's a day-to-day -day look like for you, Josh? My days change every day. Yeah. Um, I would be just minding my business and then I'll get a phone call. Like my friend called me the other day, she said, Josh, my daughter said she wants to kill herself. Daughter? Mm -hmm. that, that's so interesting because my last video, I was talking to my nine-year-old daughter about, you know, this topic here. So that's, that's interesting that I'm like colliding with you here. Oh yeah, it happens. Everything happens for a reason. But, um... You were saying that every feeling, every thought is valid. Every thought, every feeling, every emotion is valid. It's the action that causes the challenge. Mm -hmm. You don't have to act on every thought, but these thoughts came from somewhere. And the majority of your thoughts are not your own. Mm. If you break it down from the womb to six years old, you've been indoctrinated, you've been placed inside an environment that oh, yeah. you choose. Oh, yeah. So now you're just absorbing everything mm. that you observe. Yeah. I mean, even the, the church, a lot of the holy places say, give me that kid till he's seven and I'll turn him into a man. They know. <laughs> they know something. <laughs> you want me to comment on some things. <laughs> Because I talk about religion all day long. Who are you telling, man? And the one thing about religion is, 
it doesn't teach you about death. Yeah. It doesn't teach you how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. It may tell you where you're going to go, but what about the process of how it makes you feel? Yeah. And that's what I help people understand. Because people like my mother just died, and I said, we're just going to pray on Mm. But I'm still missing my mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's 25, 30 years later, I have not gotten over it. So what's going on? So don't matter how much prayer and how much whatever you're doing, what's the process of letting go? Mm. And that's what I help people do. Because that's the beautiful thing about death. And I had to realize, like, you leave this world and enter the new world. And we can't all the way wrap our mind around this because we don't see it. But energy never, ever dies. Like, she's even right here. Mm. As far as your loved ones and so on and so forth, they're still here, but their bodies are not physically here. Yeah. But energy lives forever. And I see my mom and I see my son Gage because he has some features. Mm. I see my mom, the older, I look like her in her older age. My sister mm. looks like her in her younger age. The last thing I was like listening to last night and it made so much sense and I went straight to bed was we don't have a problem understanding that water goes through a stream but it'll be transformed into something else or water goes into the uh, into the ocean and it evaporates and it becomes something something else so everything transforms essentially but why is it when it comes to your mind why do why, why don't we believe that like you know like why don't you think it still continues why do you think it's the end when everything in nature shows us that it transforms our kids tell us this thing too. He was so mad at me. We were mad the other day. Because he wanted something and I wouldn't give in. And I was like, Gage, you're gonna stop being so mean and mouthy towards me because mommy's not gonna be on this world one day, in this world one day to help you. You know, he goes, he grabbed my face and he said, Why would you go to the new world without me? I'm going with you. <laughs> and I was like, Wow, I had to look at it. It is a new world. And yeah. you know, and that there's someone over there. Everybody has someone over there that's waiting on yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's my Deep, y'all. Comment below. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Baby girl's drinking a sea moss lemonade right now. Woo! With spirulina. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. Sweet. What it got, baby? Light. It's very light. Ah, oh, daddy. Mm, I want a kiss. You want a kiss? Mm -hmm. Which you, you got curry, curry mouth right now. You want to kiss me and leave curry stains on me? Okay, no. Kiss me right here. Thank you. Let me kiss you back. And this one too. <laughs> Aya, your shoes is the wrong way. Aya, come show them the way you put your shoes. What up, y'all? You know when you put your shoes, 50% chance you're going to get it. You're going to put it right. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you're shaking your bum bum? No. Come here! 50% chance you're gonna get it right, or the other 50 you're gonna get it wrong. But with Aya, hey! 50%, her probability of putting the shoe the wrong way is like 90%. I don't get it. Why? Why do you always put the shoe the wrong way? Huh? Anyway, starting the day off, giving you guys a quick update on the Sprinter. Okay, just got the windows. This is the stupid car. <laughs> Quick update, if y'all don't know, a couple of videos ago, I purchased a Sprinter. I'm going to get it customized. So yeah, I stopped by really quick today to check up on it really quick. If you guys recall the window, there was no um, windows. So they're about to put some windows. And in two months, it'll be completely converted into a, a luxury uh, VIP Sprinter. They said they started to insulate it right now, make it soundproof, and uh, it's gonna be some good progress. That was so cool. I'm gonna get in. You wanna go in? <clears throat> well, yeah. Gonna get the Sprinter ready. Two months, God willing, it'll be completely transformed and we'll be moving in style. Pretty excited about it. <laughs> this is my, this is my car. Get out of my car, get out of my car. Okay, bye. Didn't you? No!
Didn't you call this a... <laughs> you were shaking your bum bum, eh? Now you gotta go. <laughs> Don't shake your bum bum, okay? You gonna shake your bum bum? No. You're done? You gonna shake your bum bum? Yeah. But yeah, let me give you guys a bunch of updates today. So I'll give you guys an update on the Sprinter, on the juicing operation. There's a lot going on behind the scenes here at the Everyday Hustle. check up on the sprinter there we'll keep you guys posted on the development of it I told them when we're about 70% there to tap in with me so we can go by again and see it come into you know fruition um, I want to share a very important aspect of business or maybe just life in general as much as we plan things and we have all of the intentions to make things happen. Best believe a lot of the times it's, it never really goes, you know, with your time, like on the time that you want it to be. I have never launched anything where the timelines were precise. Things happen, life happen, happens and the main thing is you want to stay enthusiastic and just stick with it even when things you know are happening that may be hindering the movement of getting something to happen you just chip away little by little one of my strategies that i use to get things done a lot of things done in the long run as is i like to tackle things bit by bit so even when I edit a video, I literally on my task list write edit 15% of Everyday Hustle episode on Tuesday. Wednesday, edit to 30%. So I find that for me, my style, it takes, I like to break things up um, and not be super consumed about it. And you know, breaking it down works for me. It may not work for everyone. Some people um, like to just tackle everything in one shot and get it done. Try it out. If you are working on a project, just break it down into the smallest bits. And one bit at a time, in due time, you'll walk into something that you know finally comes to life. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you'd know that I launched several things in real time showcasing you guys. And that's because I take it bit by bit and a lot of times I'm giving you guys a heads up for all those aspiring entrepreneurs, or even if you're doing it, even if you have launched things, sometimes things don't go on the timeline that you have. And a lot of times we're not realistic and being unrealistic sometimes is good because it forces you to try to move the needle but the reality is it's never our timing it's god's timing but yeah um i can't make this up i want to show you guys something look at this really quick so while i was giving you guys the sprinter i get a call that uh i gotta pick up samia because she's not feeling well something about her leg or something like that so again life life be life in and head over to the school, pick her up. She's upstairs. Now she's asking me for, for me to rub her feet, okay? As much as I'm trying to get things done and work, like I said earlier, life be life in. So let's, uh, let's wrap up the video with Samia. I'm gonna go, ch let's go check up on her because her feet is not doing too well. Looks like she sprained it. Catch y'all upstairs in the room. So yeah, Samia. Explain to us what happened to your foot. So I was at school. Mm -hmm. I was at school and um, my foot was like, I was like running and then my foot went like By this. By yourself? Hmm? 
Were you playing with someone? Yeah. I was like playing tag and I went like my foot went like this. Yikes. Sorry. This way. Definitely hate ankle injuries. I hate ankle injuries and groin. Groin injury. You feel like you can't even walk too. Yeah. I've had my share of injuries. You guys, this is ridiculous. I don't know what I did to have bad luck. First it was my arm. Now it's my leg. Next thing you know, it's going to be my butt bone. <laughs> Your backbone. My butt bone. <laughs> Wrapping up today's video. All in God's timing, never in yours. Even with your feet healing, as much as you want it to heal as fast as possible, it takes time. Everything takes a little time, you feel me? Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you all for watching today's video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. I look forward to catching you all on the next one. Uh, you can stay even more updated with me here on this YouTube channel through my YouTube short videos. I'm a lot more consistent there. I upload probably four or five times a week there. All right. And the vertical topic that I've created on the YouTube short is around relationships. So yeah, just dissected hot takes and y'all can check it out, chime in. But yeah, y'all have a blessed day and we're out. So we're gonna say bye. Bye. You matter. Your existence matters. Don't question that. You're destined to do amazing things. Why not? Why not you? You're great, and it's up to you to make it your truth.